Hi, good afternoon, good morning or good evening. Um, my name is Dr. Simon Strange from Barspar University in the UK. This presentation is looking at Blank Canvas, art school creativity from punk to new wave, which is part of my PhD thesis, which I turned into a book with Intellect Publishing. It's looking at the idea of art school creativity and how that developed into popular music development through the 1960s and 70s. My research looks at how some ideas from art school could be used to, to develop for higher popular music education, something I've used in the UK for quite a few years now and have developed. So it's looking at four key main areas, which I'll explore in a minute. Really, it's the ideals of conceptual artistic creation. It's reflective pedagogy and the arrival of an array of creative new music with a commercial outlook, which helps define art school and popular music interconnectivity. I was lucky enough to secure some great interviewees for my research. So from Roy Ascott, who was Brian Eno's teacher, Brian Eno himself, um, Gavin Bryars, who was one of the first people to record with Brian Eno um, on his obscure label, and was an instigator of much of the experimental music in, in the UK. Dexter Dalwood, the best bass player with the Cortinas, a Bristol band. Stephen Malander from Cabaret Voltaire. Alex Michon, who was a, worked with The Clash, was an interior designer, the designer of fashion. Leicester Square from the monochrome set. The Raincoats, so I had Gina Birch and I had Anna De Silva from The Raincoats. Clive Langer, who went to art school in Liverpool and worked with Morrissey, he worked with Madness and his own band. Bill Drummond, who you probably know from the KLF, he went to Liverpool Art School as well. Callie Callerman, who now works with um, Bill Drummond on, the, on his projects, and he went to art school in Watford and was in a, a band himself in the end of the 1970s. Barry Adamson, the bass player with Magazine and also went on with Nick Cave and then did his own film work with David Lynch. Keith Levine, who was the guitarist with Public Image Limited and the original guitarist with The Clash. Helen Reddington, who works at the University of um, East London and is, was part of the punk scene from, from Brighton University and Brighton Art School. Alice Fox, who still works in Brighton, was part of the Marine Girls. Um, James Eller, the bass player with The The and also with people like Johnny Marr and Pauline Black from Selector. Eno was obviously one of my key interviewees and he really defined that connection between art school and, and popular music, which came through the 60s and 70s. And one of the quotes that he, he gave me was this, this, it was about the discovery of your own place, which art school gave him within the world and how this manifested within art where part of the deal was that you were what you believed in. This idea that art is life, life is art, is all encompassing. So through the concepts of art school and art school history, I gave the, came up with this idea about postmodern pedagogy, pedagogy that existed through art school education. So Blank Canvas is really centered around four main interconnecting themes. The first one is hierarchies and looking at concepts of unlearning, which came sort of from the Bauhaus and then instigated into the UK art schools in the 1960s and onwards. And the idea about um, non-musicianship and a lack of barriers between being a musician. About the process, this is the key art school idea about being in the actual creative process through conscious or unconscious ideas the scientific development with machines and with art through cybernetics and the, the burgeoning of new technology. Experimentation this is a key idea about eclectic ideas, being radical, having an attitude towards your creation. And then relationships. So that interconnection between the tutor and students, how groups of cohorts came together to develop their work and where collaboration was key. This is an image of the slits they're set up before a gig they did in 1977 at um, Hornsey Art College. And it just sort of summarizes their kind of the interconnection between arts and popular music that existed in art school as a place for, for gigs to happen, but also through education. Wire were a key, a key art school band. They studied at Watford with um, Callie Callerman, one of my interviewees. And they generally start off as being unskilled before improving and developing those skills or approaches to being in a situation where you don't know what's going on. 
and you don't need to know what's going, which art school had taught them about. For Bill Drummond, he saw art school as a conversation between someone like Prince Buster from the kind of dub reggae area and deaf school, which kind of connected to Gavin Breyer's ideas for the Portsmouth um, Symphonia. So that mix between black identified ideas of music and uh, minimalist avant-garde that was coming through at the time. So this was key for Bill Drummond. For my book, Drummond wrote me a, a, a play about his experiences and what he thought about the interconnection between art school and popular music. And this is one bit where he suggested that somewhere else in the common room of an art school, some other art student is arriving with something. We don't know what that something is, but that something will change the course of the cultural history of our times, or maybe your times, because those times are yet to happen. Things may come and things may go, but the art school dance goes on forever. So really, Blank Canvas, it asks questions of today's artists. It, for musicians and educators looking for the essence of creativity and suggests how lessons learned in and around art school education can show a path for cultural evolution. So how you can bring these ideas about hierarchies, about process, experimentation and relationships, and you can develop a curriculum around those four main ideas. And I think with blank cameras, anything is possible. The idea which the Bauhaus instigated from starting from a blank sheet and where from that anything is possible. Thank you very much for your time. Blank Canvas, I say, is released by Intellect Publishing in the late autumn, early winter this year. We're just finalising it, and it's, um, I say, my name's Simon Strange, and you can find more about it at um, blankcanvastheory.com. So hopefully this brings some, some conversations together about how higher pop music could look maybe in slightly some different ways and looking at through these ideas which art school education brought forward. Thank you.